Well, I am going to be trying to make uh, what's called a butternut squash soup. And so I'm going to get started. I actually just finished cutting this open. And so I'm going to take the seeds out. And then I'm going to roast this in the oven for about an hour along with some vegetables, which I have some dried peppers. And then I have some onions. I'm going to roast them together with some olive oil. Okay, season. Actually, I have not had ever uh, tasted actually a butternut squash so this is gonna be interesting but it looks so good and i'm gonna try this recipe but i'm gonna take we don't waste anything so i'm gonna take these seeds to dry them off and then i might try to plant them and put them in my garden and see if they will grow um because of course with the expensive as things are today we don't want to waste anything so my husband know i <laughs> i try to grow anything right now um so if this comes out fabulous oh my gosh i'm gonna look forward to this but this recipe is going to cause for well, I'm using some uh, onions and then I had some dried uh, peppers and I um I sauteed a little bit in a skillet but I'm actually going to put this in the oven with this butter squash and I'm going to roast it for about an hour probably on 350 375 and see and then we'll go from there uh, so I have this olive oil which I had in stock I bought this a while ago with some uh, different olive oil. This is actually a butter infused olive oil. And so I'm going to be putting this on the butternut squash as well as the vegetables. And uh, we're going to roast them in the oven. So here is me scooping the butter squash out and putting it into a bowl. And I'm going to start mixing up. I have some, well, I had, which is some onions and peppers but my peppers were dried pepper versus just being regular cut up peppers so they came out a little different and so i saw these were sauteed so of course you know that's why you you see these looking like this but actually it should probably work out okay if not this will be my first time trying this recipe which is butter squash soup and so we'll see how it goes so i'm going to be adding in a tablespoon of maple syrup. I've already added the butter and I'm about to mix in my uh, roasted vegetables. I'm going to be using my immersion blender and so um, I have a couple things going on so let's see catfish in the background. I got greens going on in the crock pot. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this soup up. We'll end up having this maybe for lunch if not today then tomorrow because I'm also making some uh, sloppy joe couple of meals going on. Sometimes when I feel like cooking, I cook. Because I don't have my camera, my phone, 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 I probably should have put this in my blender and just let it, um, because I have one of those Vitamixer blenders. I should, probably should have did that. That would have been an easy way of doing this versus me hand holding this. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Okay, the outcome of this soup actually tastes pretty good. I've never had but a squash soup before, so I didn't know exactly what I was my expectation would be, but it actually tastes really good. I actually put a little basil in it as well. Yep, it's good. We'll be eating some. I got a whole bowl for, <laughs> full of it, so we're gonna be eating some on next couple of days. If not today, then two days from today, because I don't eat a lot of leftovers. So Richard, how my soup tastes? Tastes delicious. Oh, okay. Thank you.